Hey friends, today we're gonna go over all the things we're growing this year. We're gonna talk about what this guy is, if you don't know. At the end of this video, we're going to be sharing about a really cool new variety we're growing this year that we haven't grown before. Um, we started it back in February and it's growing super well, so I'm really excited to share that with you. And so stay tuned until the end for that surprise. Um, but first, we're just going to go over everything else we're growing in the garden, including our starts and the seeds that I will be planting in the next few weeks. right here, this very healthy tray of peppers. We have Avenata pepper, Sunbright bell pepper, red bell pepper, and Tabasco pepper. Most of this is bells, and these guys are actually, were recently transplanted not too long ago, um, so they're actually my smaller peppers. Okay, the next tray is kind of a big mix of stuff, so we're just gonna go right through it, just like the last one. We have zinnia, at least two or three different kinds of zinnia, kohlrabi, I have red beets and yellow beets in here. You can see the yellow here. Um, I've got four different kinds of basil all along this row. And then here we've got strawflower and calendula. Um, also hiding in here are four different kinds of poppies. Okay, so in here we have one thing you may or may not have heard of and a couple other more common things. Right here we have three Chinese five color peppers. Um, in here we've got some Black Beauty eggplant, which has been nommed on by our cats a little bit, but it's just fine. It will prepare it for the flea beetles. And then we have ground cherries. These guys are in the nightshade family, and ground cherries are almost candy-like sweet, but they have the acidity of what you get from like a cherry tomato, but much sweeter. Um, and these are pineapple ground cherries and Mary's ground cherries. Okay, so here we have one of the beautiful trays of peppers. These guys are the healthiest peppers I've ever grown. They're already flowering, they're branching out all on their own. I didn't top them off or anything and they have like some beautiful branching going on. Let me see if I can show you guys. Specifically looking at some of the ones over in here and you can see the little flowers. So very, very, very healthy peppers. Very dark, very healthy. I have four varieties here. Um, a few golden cayenne, a few banana peppers, I think a couple cayenne, and then the rest of the tray is sweet bell peppers. So we're really focusing on bell peppers this year. Okay, so another beautiful tray of peppers. I am just blown away by how beautiful my peppers are this year. They didn't start off that great, so honestly it was potting up early and a few other things. I'll make another video about it because I could go on and on. We have four types of peppers in this tray. Paprika peppers. We have banana, I think just one or two, poblano, which are the biggest, healthiest looking ones, and big red bell peppers. Loving my peppers. They're definitely the stars of the show this year. Last tray of peppers. The only difference between this tray and the last tray, other, I mean, other than the varieties, is that these guys were potted up two weeks later because we just ran out of pots and ran out of time. So you can see the big difference in growth. They're super healthy now, they'll be fine, but it did tell me that I need to pot up early with my peppers. So what we have going on in here, again, four varieties. We have Jimmy Nardello, a rose cone pollo, corbachi peppers, and then a cayenne pepper thrown in there. That's all the peppers. Now it's time to talk tomatoes or maters, as I like to call them and most other people do. I think, meters. <laughs> Anyways, um, we have three trays of tomatoes. They're in these little grow bags, which have been great for tomatoes. I have no problem with them at all. The tomatoes are looking awesome this year. They didn't have the best start just because they didn't love the trays that they were in initially, but they're much happier potted up in these grow bags. They've got nice thick stems, like really thick stems. So we have one, two, three nine different varieties of tomatoes. I kept it a little bit more simple this year, um, just with some of my favorites. I have two kinds of cherries. 
Napa Chardonnay blush and Honey Drop, which is my favorite and Christopher's favorite, the guy behind the camera. He loves the Honey Drop. And then we have three different kind of paste tomatoes, which is the perfect kind for making sauces and making really a lot of canned tomato products. So we have the Opaka paste tomato. We have Orange Icicle, which is an orange paste, and that one's super interesting. I really like it. And the third one is a new one I'm trying this year out of Fruition Seeds called Italian Paste, I believe. I believe it's Italian paste. I do want to try Amish paste in the future, but not this year. Um, a couple more varieties we're doing. We have the Green Zebra Glacier, which is a small little salad at Tomato. It tends to come earlier than other things, and it's just got really good flavor. And so I, I like to make it because I put it on avocado toast, and it's just really delicious. And the last one is Gold Metal, which is like a big slicer, and I got that from Fruition Seeds. Those are all my tomatoes. I think we have like, what, 60 probably? Three trays. Probably about that, yeah. About 60. Last year we did like 100 and it was way too many and honestly, so we many went to waste. Yeah, we didn't even use them all effectively. This tray is three different things. They don't have anything in common. I just have to put them in a tray together because they don't fit with anything else. So we have celery. I'm putting it in the ground this weekend. And then we have four artichokes, which aren't doing as well as my artichokes last year. But good news is there was an artichoke that perennialized out in the garden, so we should have artichokes. Fingers crossed for that one. And the third thing is these massive tomatillos, which are just huge and don't fit under the grow lights. And I'm trying to get them outside on warm days, but we've had such cold days, so I uh, need, need to get them outside so they can get some light. Real quickly, we are going to go outside to show you a few things. They're sitting out on the patio. I think it's a patio. Yeah. Sitting out on the patio because they are hardening off and they're really cold hardy. Okay, so out here we have brassicas and onions. The brassicas are Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and cheddar cauliflower. So we have a mix of those in these two trays. And then we also have curly kale, dinosaur kale, Calibos cabbage, and a couple little varieties of green cabbage. And then finally, we have our New York early white or yellow onion and Rasa de Milano red onion. Let's go back inside because it's cold. The next list of things is all things that I'm going to be direct seeding. I also have the hiccups, so I might hiccup while I'm reading this list. I will try not to, but <laughs> you can't really control hiccups. So we have some different varieties of corn. We are planting dry beans as, <laughs> as well as green beans. Some of the green beans I'm planting are actually pink, purple, green, <laughs> so a few different colors. Uh, we're planting soybean, quite a bit of soybean. <coughs> we're planting, or I should say we planted potatoes already, all, they're all out in the garden. We have 400 cloves of garlic, garlic planted, three, different, three or four different varieties. Spaghetti squash, butternut squash, honey nut squash a few different varieties of pumpkins, including this one blue pumpkin that's my absolute favorite. We're planting different kinds of greens. Swiss chard and kale are our personal favorites because they're just so easy to grow and they're so prolific. We are planting carrots and radishes, peas, a few different varieties of cucumbers, um, some different summer squash and zucchinis, and a few different varieties of watermelon or um, honey, honeydew. So that's all the things I'm direct seeing. And then I have one more cool thing I wanted to show you. Not the surprise, we'll get to that in a second. See this lovely little stalk? It's like, I don't know what it looks like, honestly. It looks like a- Bamboo. Bamboo, it does look like bamboo. So any guesses on what this is, go ahead and put it down in the comments. I'm gonna tell you in a second, but if you wanna like guess yourself and see if you're right, put it in the comments and then you can see if you're right. If, if you are right, the hiccups are, very persistent, <coughs> and it makes me cough, pick up and cough. Okay, so the big announcement is not this, but the big announcement of what this is, is this is ginger. So we have five pots of ginger. This one is the largest so far. It's, the rhizome is under the soil, so you can't see it, about an inch under the soil, and then it sends up this like, these like huge shoots. So it looks like this is the first shoot that it sent up. And it should send up some more soon. I'm surprised it's only this one, but I'm excited about it. It's better than my ginger did last year. I did grow ginger last year and it did not do well. So take two for ginger. Let's talk about 
the really exciting new thing we're growing in just a second once I put this back. I will share the surprise with you guys in three, two, one. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. So, oh my gosh, what's out of breath? I, um, it hurts being so fast. I, I took a test and I see a line. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Crickets see the moon Side by side and through and 